Okay, once again, I have the camera turned around. Hey, it's Paula Ryan here from Paula Ryan Designs. Um, I'm going to talk to you today from Monarch Showroom, Monarch Kitchens and Bath in Springfield, Illinois. And I'm actually using their beautiful showroom, which is actually located next to our office. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about backsplashes and kind of walk you around. So when I do this, I'm handing the phone off to my trusty assistant, Heather. Here we go. Okay, all right, Heather doesn't know how to work the phone as well as I do. Um, anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about backsplash. And one of the things that I always talk to people are kind of um, at, whenever I do a consultation or talk to anybody about backsplash, is I always talk to them about, um, you know, first of all, we talk about what color are their kitchen cabinets. Are they keeping their kitchen cabinets? Are they getting ready to move? Are you um, trying to brighten the space up? I try to kind of pick your brain a little bit before we start. For instance, if you had these oak kitchen cabinets like this, if your kitchen cabinets look like this, I would do something different than if I had a kitchen cabinet look like this. But if you think, oh gosh, I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna change my oak cabinets, I'm gonna paint them, then we could talk about that as well. But if I know, um, I call it your permanent finishes. So if this is your permanent finish or this your permanent finish, it's two different things. So once we do that, once we have established that, then we can move forward with the some different options. Um, the other thing is, is I always talk about um, also your countertop. So as you can see, this countertop is gray. Um, it doesn't have, it's got, you know, lots of movement in it. So if, if for instance, if you take, um, if you had this, and there's, I don't know if anybody has a four inch backsplash or if you're getting ready to do um, your cabinets or if you've already got a four inch backsplash, which is you know, usually they're like this, and this is not the same color as that, but a four inch backsplash would be about this tall. So I always recommend not putting that on, even if you're thinking about doing um, uh, backsplash at some other time. But if you do have it on there, um, it now take the darn thing off because what you're doing is you're looking at this busyness on this four inch backsplash where you don't really see it when it's laying flat. But if you see it going this way, then you're kind of looking at that and it's competing. As you can see, like having this movement here is looks like crazy town with this, where when you take it away, it just kind of blends into it. Um, anyway, so that's one of the, one of my things I always, you know, talk to people about. This is a herringbone. So I know if, if you've been following me for a while, I love clean, classic white, that's my go-to standard just because I have seen over the years so many people have ripped out, you know, the oak, the maple, the whatever, and then they rip it out and they have crazy backsplash tiles, for instance. This one actually makes me crazy. This one here because it's so busy. And you saw probably about five years ago, it seems like a lot of H on HGTV, a lot of people were doing this and it's kind of the latest, greatest, wicked bad, cool, awesome um, thing. But after a while, you would get tired of this. And it comes you know, would date your house. You'd have to go with brown or black or whatever, you know, you're doing. Where, when you're doing white, and this is actually not even true white, um, but if you do white, you can kind of change the color up. Um, this kitchen right here, as you can see, this is kind of an off-white here, and um, it's with a glaze on it, so this does have a color in it. And so we tried to, I know when they were, you know, choosing this tile, they tried to warm it up a little bit and um, add the, you know, the, um, the grout that had a color to it, where if you added a white grout, then you know it would kind of make it kind of go away. But if you can kind of see this is bright white, so you know when I always say like I like white, 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 or whatever, this is actually off white. So you have to make sure that you match your your um, your backsplash with whatever cabinets are. So um, anyway, I'm going to walk you around the showroom and kind of talk to you a little bit about what different things I'm take these with me just real quick so I'm going to just show you real quick follow me over this way this is a herringbone and then we're going to come this way um, on this kitchen this is kind of a crazy pattern you know and it's super cool very trendy but they were going for the wow factor in this in the showroom you know they've got like a dark cabinets here and it is really cool I don't know if you know in five years from now would you be tired of it probably but this would be amazing, like in a bar, it would be super cool, um, you know, basement bar or something like that. But something that you maybe could change out in a few years, you wouldn't get tired of it. But it is really fun and, you know, adds a ton of movement to it. Um, anyway, okay, so then come over this way. Um, and then I'm going to show you this one. It's a brick pattern and um, really clean.
clean and classic. It's actually, I think this is marble here. But you can see this is a navy um, kitchen, which once again, it's kind of, it's super different, but what, this is a showroom. They're trying to, you know, add some wow factors, probably something you probably wouldn't do in your house. But the navy cabinets are really fun. A lot of times you see a lot of navy with white uppers. But this, and we're talking backsplashes here, but this backsplash is super clean, classic. Even though it's not stark white, you know that this is never gonna go out of style. This is a brick pattern here. Um, if you wanted to do it, make it, like if you want to change this up and make it more um, contemporary, you could take it and you know, add an elongated tile. Here's another elongated tile. And this is actually got, I don't know if you can see, it's got a bevel to it. So it's kind of gives when you have under kind of lights, it kind of like it makes it a little shimmery. It's really pretty. But um, since I don't have two of these, but if you wanted to make something more contemporary, um, the pattern that I would do, I choose, would choose is a stack pattern. So they just lay one on top of the other and kind of makes it really contemporary. Um, so that can make that a little bit more fun. The other thing I want to talk about really quick, because I'm trying to make this video too long, is people ask me all the time, where do I finish off my um, the backsplash? I don't know, Heather, if you can see this. So here's your edge of your countertop. It always sticks out farther than um, your upper cabinets. I always stop your cat the, at the top here and run it down. Otherwise, you've got this weird finish of it sticking out here and your, um, you know, your, your tile's kind of sticking out here. And I don't know if anybody's ever seen that. It looks kind of goofy. Or sometimes people will stair-step it down to try to give an artistic look. Um, but when I uh, plan a house, too, the other thing is, is making sure your uh, electrician knows to put your light switches on the inside of your cabinet. And if you look at your kitchen or anybody else's kitchen, sometimes you'll notice where like the light switches maybe will end like here to here. And then it's like, dang it, what do I do with this light switch? It's in the middle of it. So if you have a chance to, um, if you're starting from scratch, make sure that your electrician puts it underneath your kitchen cabinet. And even if you're not, um, if you're just adding a backsplash, I would definitely have them move it under, all the way under or all the way over if you can, because it's really, it, Obviously, it's easier to move it this way because if you're um, finishing off this in, this backsplash um, anyway, you're patching drywall or whatever back behind there. But it just gives a nice cleaner finish. Um, anyway, I think that's all I want to talk to you about backsplashes today. If you want me to come and do a consultation at your house and talk to you um, at your own uh, house about backsplash, give me a call. Thanks. Bye.